Ah, Michael, there you are. Oh, I just wanted to have a few minutes to speak with you alone before Alan and I take off on our river trip. I just had a couple of questions for you and then I wanted you to think about a few things. First, I want to know if you really think you and Bonnie can survive out here. I, I know you said God spoke to you and told you to come here. That you both had wonderful jobs, a great house, basically everything you could possibly want in life. But somehow you still felt empty. So God speaks to you, to you, Michael, and tells you to do something very dangerous, something that you might not even like, a jungle adventure. It all sounds so exciting, so exciting that you drop everything, get on a plane and come down here. But do you think you are truly prepared to spread God's word? Not to mention everything else that's going on down here. All the drug trafficking, the, the gold rushers, the prostitutes, the witch doctors. Michael, I know God's word can protect you from a lot of things. But a bullet from a gun can end all your dreams. Please think about it. Especially since Bonnie's pregnant. You can always go back home. God will understand. But if you do choose to stay, a word of advice. Pray with your eyes open. Pray with your eyes wide open. Bonnie! 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 What in God's name have you done? I told you to stay away from that witch doctor. You have no idea what he's capable of. You stupid fool. Don't you realize what you have done? You have put your life and your very soul in jeopardy, not to mention that of your unborn child. Do you think that all his chants and rituals are harmless? Well, they're not. Oh, we have to pray. We have to pray right now and ask God to protect you. Dear Lord, we humbly beseech you to put your loving arms around Bonnie and her unborn child, to protect them with your love and your light from all evil and harm. All of these things we beseech you and we ask in your son Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Bonnie, you have to do this every day. You have to ask for protection because you have let Satan in. I tried to warn you. Why didn't you listen to me? I just didn't want it to happen to you too. You see, 20 years ago, I found out that I was with child. Alan and I were so happy that God had finally blessed us with a child. It's the one thing that we had wanted for years. And our dream was coming true. But when I was six months along, I got really sick with a high, high fever. And I became delirious. Alan tried everything he could to bring my fever down, but he just couldn't do it. He was beside himself. So he went and got the witch doctor, and he brought him to me. And I begged him to send him away, but Alan said we were desperate. So the witch doctor started chanting and, and doing this ritual over me. And that's the last thing I remember before I passed out. When I came to, Alan told me that I had been out for two days. The fever was gone. But my body felt so very different.
I couldn't feel the baby moving anymore. And I prayed to God to keep my baby safe and that everything would be all right. But a week later, I went into labor. And after 36 hours, I delivered the most beautiful baby boy. He was still born. And I knew that that witch doctor had stolen my son's life away from me. And I prayed every day to this very day for God to forgive me for letting evil in and to purify my soul. Honey, you have to do that now, too. You have to ask for God's protection before it's too late. 